Is there anything lit up here that's obviously important? No, just spawners. Spawners everywhere. What is this area even supposed to be? The Rattlebone Crypts. Okay, so it's supposed to be Crypts. I guess, yeah, that would explain why it's full of dead. Oh, but the soul sand keeps them at bay to a certain degree. You know what I want to do right here? I will tell you what I want to do right here. The There's a fellow named Seth Bling that I met at Minecon. And he's a very intelligent fella. Like, super smart. Works for Microsoft. That's how smart he is. And... He had an idea for a mob uh, grinder doorway that you could walk through, but mobs couldn't. And he posted this video on the YouTube. I saw it on the YouTube. And I think that I am going to attempt to apply his method here. So I think I need eight signs. And so I'm sorry, bitches, but your mining sign here? Yeah, you know what? You have just given me the tools I need to keep those monsters at bay in the... Uh, Whatever this place is called, I got rid of the signs. No, I didn't. Rattlebone Crips. So essentially what I need to do here is I need to climb up here and I need to plant uh, water really high up. A because the mobs, when they start climb when they start swimming, they or when they enter water, they have to swim upward. And then they'll eventually drown. And then when they drown, I get their fat loot. Or their skinny loot if they were skeletons, because skeletons are generally skinny. But you get the idea. Like, for example, I need a sign that goes here. Oh, that's interesting. For some reason now, I'm getting void fog here, so I can actually see the shapes of things. I don't know why that kicked in all of a sudden, but whatever. So, sign, 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 sign. So, this is going to say V, E, C, T for vector, because this is going to be the angle or the vector from which our signs come down. Did I just darken this whole hallway? Yeah, that that's okay. That's okay. It's all part of the plan. Now, why didn't this actually work? It didn't work because of that. That's why it didn't work. And, yeah, well, that's actually perfect now. So I'll just shore this up like so. Keep the mobs at bay. Then I think I can break that one, and they'll just start swimming up. Okay, so there he goes. So the mob has come in, and if Mr. Seth Bling is a total genius... Oh, uh, did I forget to break that block? No, this is still too wide. He should start swimming, or something. Why are you not swimming, mob? What is wrong with you? Does this need to be wider? I mean, he's still drowning, but he's in my way. We'll just consider this good enough for right now and run for it. So let's see if we can. Li Whoa, Enderman! Enderman already, and slimes. Wow, this place is gonna be massive. And already a bunch of creatures. Wow, okay, yeah, this is bad. Okay, yeah, I'm willing to admit when I've screwed up, and I might have maybe done that here. So let's get back out of here. It's probably a lot easier to build this when the creatures aren't actively trying to kill you. But I think I'm okay. And so then I think if we just break this one here, we should be in the clear. Oh, wait, no, that won't work because... No? No, you don't like this still? Oh, come on! What part of this is causing you guys trouble? Dang it, Seth Bling! You work at Microsoft! This should be working perfectly! Oh yeah, there it goes! No, not quite. Yeah, I think I need to fill it with more water. Uh, where can I get water around here, though? I might have to run back. That's real. Oh, dang it, I had enough water. I could have created an infinite spring when I started this. Okay, so we're essentially clearing this part of the shaft here. Then we'll place one block there. Whoa, 
And one block there. And, wow, that might actually just work. So, let's go ahead. Uh, I guess we have a nice little viewing area as well, if we need one. Which I don't anticipate needing, because it's kind of a weird thing to want to view. But, here we go. We're just going to open this up for business. Oh, hello, a creeper and a slime. Let's uh, run backwards here real quick. So the creeper's hung up on the sign. Oh, wait, no, 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 he's... Uh-oh, 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 uh-oh. Oh, come on! You work for Microsoft! Mmm. I've got to say, Mr. Bling, if that even is your name, I think that Bill Gates would be disappointed in you right now if he saw this. So, uh. So here we are, back at square one. Oh, this is what killed me here, was this part. That cannot be there, because otherwise they'll pop back out. And presumably the same thing over here. Let's see if that little fix helped. Do they not see me through the water? Is that the issue? I think a skeleton just shot that one. Okay, go die up there. Yeah, look at that, that worked. So then the zombie dies, and then he drops his stuff too. Super easy. That only took me like 25 minutes. Okay, so one here, and one here. Oh yeah, come on, come on zombie. You see me now? Yeah, that's right, I'm right here. I'm right here. On what are you stuck? I was told you were compelled to swim upward. I've been lied to. So that's my preliminary version of the mob trap. I'll probably work on that some more later. In the meantime, I'm going to go get me a ladder, and then I'm going to come back, and I'm going to light this stuff up because I'm tired of it. So till next time, y'all, this is Joe Hills from Nashville, Tennessee. Keep adventuring.